Hello guys, how are you doing? We are back for one more round of Formula 122 and in today's agenda we will do Monza we will get here now um, a car setup from time trial then we will go straight to the weekly event in Monza and do the practice one, practice two let's see how far we get with Monza but it's so nice that the weekly event matches the weekend race in Formula 1 so it helps us to get into the mood then we will play a little bit in the Australian GP on my team career mode and apologies I've been not streaming for the past uh, few days as I'm still recovering from being sick um, so I'll be taking very easy today is more of a practice so I don't lose too much my skills and have fun and chat with you guys that comes and say hello and as always thank everyone for the follows for the subscribes for the tips I'm getting and answers in YouTube channel as well it's a bit of unusual I'm not gonna speak too much now and we're gonna get going put the car on the road get some setup going and hopefully if I get some more energy uh, chat a little bit more during this streaming if not we will chat more on the next one I know you guys understand uh, you all sometimes get bad get sick and we need some time to recover So we are in Monza time trial. Let's get a setup from one of these guys here. Wow, 117.9 from this lad. Let's check it out his setup. So for aero, front wing 4, 0 rear, transmission, so far so good, and now what is that, front suspension, rear suspension, front what, front arch robot, that doesn't make sense. The Anshuoba. That is nuts. Like this is a type of profile that I wouldn't trust. Front suspension, soft on the springs and hard on the Anshuoba. Both on the completely extremes. Also for the rear hard on the springs and control bar soft they kind of unlate themselves like but i know the game is the game but it sounds too extreme oh, look at this yeah let's check it out as it is just to see how it feels Break, I want you to see which you break 50%. I was clearly not ready. 
Let's see. Ugh. Even my strength in my body is weaker. Okay, I can reach that 100%. Otherwise, I need to enter some breaking saturation to build up that again. Maybe we'll just do a soft lap, <laughs> a cool down. very well the rear mirrors the side rear mirrors on this Ferrari quite softly through the first ship in there so the right height is really helping to smooth things up and the fact that these things on the front is really soft doesn't make sense but for the game it's working there's lots of rotation because it's a fast track doesn't require much downforce so rear wing I'm, I knew would be zero the wing and four it might be what's helping to give that grip and helping to get that turning in which is nice transmission standard suspension geometry standard no surprises there but here, Rio de Roma. That's 
so weird. Very, very weird. It's working. So, what we do? Let's save as time trial. Even this week, I wasn't able to, able to check any video from esports drivers or uh, the channels that play the game that are really good. But I will be doing it during the week and post on my YouTube channel on the Formula One F1 22 setup. I had all the car setups and game setups over there. So I have time trial. Cool. So this one save. We go back. Let's go to compare to get another guy here to see. The tire is full pressure suspension. Everything on the soft uh, front ride height 11 on the maximum, rear ride height 1 point down. But I see a trend there, so the ride height will be around 11.5, 11, 11.4, 11, maybe 11.6. Now the suspensions are a mess. It's too soft in the front, makes sense because of the chicanes and the curbs. But the rear being soft as well. Yeah, that's strange. It is work for this guy, so. And let's compare. Yeah, six as well, and not too bad. That could be even a better option for a 60 with more traction. And look at this real. The front wing is too less. So that's why he's compensating the lack of air in the front with uh, making the rear suspension softer to get that turn going. As the previous setup, the rear suspension was pretty hard, but the actual bar soft to try to get that turn, but it contradicts itself. I think that previous setup, something's being unlated because if you have the suspension high and the actual bar low, they are not matching. So they should be at least close by. Um, they cannot be so different. Um, otherwise, something's gonna be unrelated. That's what I think of this. But the game, game is a game. How the game is working. And one last one. Let's get one more far down here. Is this real or I think this one is about setup is equal performance when spring or oh, I'm a bit confused now. Oh look at this one 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 eleven five so the right height it's gonna be that and suspension and run, run, and robot is gonna be according to your driving style what you want from the car so let's check if he's going with soft suspension so he's probably has maybe less aero as well on the front the tire pressures on this one are very different okay so i guess we 
can just keep the other one and make it better right so according to this we can from suspension that's fine if you want to do it soft then we can work on not working interesting interesting enough the other one was quite stable load let's load it again it was impressive in stable no luck and we to do with events and this in practice
in passing. I can start more from this setup, so I think we can continue with that. It's working. I can get early in the power, doesn't spin up so much. It's been quite stable pushing through the corners even though I'm not warmed up yet making a lot of mistakes. Is the car still correcting? Not very forgivable, let's put it that way. So yeah, let's continue to weekly event, do the practices and use the setup and we can upgrade from that. Extract as much speed as we can from this and then when we start to reach our limit we can start to tweak some points some things in there I'm still surprised how uh, suspension setup is so oddly made but sporking with the tires as well so different so we can event Monza practice session. Let's check our settings as usual. Everything is good. is that Nick DeVries will be great, uh, driving a first practice one for Aston Martin on this GP in Monza maybe Vettel said I'm done with racing I don't want this anymore <laughs> it's gonna leave it to DeVries to continue who knows strategy time management and qualifying pace let's just get our setup in the car setting screen on your multi-function display will allow you to change various settings as you drive Open the display with the MFD button and you can then navigate up and down to the setting you want to change. Five point laps are good. Tire setting hard. Let's start on hards. Yeah, we can start on hards. Let's go then with tire management. Or race strategy. Let's try race strategy. Ah, oh. hard start. Let's check it out. There'll be a lack of rubber out on track, so take it easy for the first couple of laps. Right, the car's ready, let's get it out there. That's why practice is important. Mm -hmm.
as we have much more tire pressure on the rear you can see how the temperature in the tires are very green and the front tires are taking longer to warm up Good job so far, we're getting great data, stay focused. Nice move from the line guy there. Very respectful. He moved out of the way really nicely. track yeah improving our lap we 
devil is out of it right now. There it goes. Past, past, uh, yeah, true. a good run, five laps, of a hard compound. Hmm, not much info. Oh, we got everything from race strategy. Drive a lap without leaving the track, complete lap while conserving full, attack corners and achieve competitive cornering speed. Nice. The report's good, we're looking at a dry session. What was the fastest lap? 128. Everyone online practicing now is doing 131. So this setup is working well. Okay, our best lap so far is a 128.0. And in the hard, so if we put on the softs, we can definitely go down to 120, I think. Even though not driving the best. So, been good so far. Let's do some tire management, maybe. 
yeah. Uh, before, let me fix the tire balance because the left rear is being more used. So we can. This one is actually okay, okay. Okay, we're 12 for the speed trap, 342.8 kilometers per hour. We cannot, I cannot increase more the usage on the others. Yeah, so nothing you can do. That's the way it is. I can try just to level down. But now nah, they're gonna mess it up. Just leave it as it is. Okay, that's all the checks complete. We're ready to go. The balance is not too bad. The left rear is just getting 1%, 2%, sometimes more used than the others. But it's still not bad. It's a busy session now. So we are on tire management, yeah. Tires will, will warm up. That is not a good line. Oops, I didn't even see that. That's the only option. You don't have the option to return to track or flashbacks. It's if you do a mistake, it is, this is it. So it's nothing we can do for those tires. Um, if I remove pressure on the rear, it's gonna warm up even faster. Yeah. It's kind of on a limit already. See it. 
New set of mutants. Okay. Yeah, it was close. Is the car giving you some trouble out there, mate? Don't be afraid to come in and tweak the setup if you need to, and we can chuck on a fresh set of tyres if the tyres are getting worn. Hmm. Interesting. It turned better in higher gear than the lower. Just one lap. Oh, perfect, good, bad. Not performance data, expecting target. Okay, it should be between good and bad. <laughs> Keep all tires below a target temperature for an entire lap. Haha. Ha. Below a target temperature. Yeah, then we need to change that. Um, we can do qualifying pace on the next one, but then we need to, to change. To information on your current levels of tire wear and damage, press the MFD button to open the multifunction display and then again to cycle to the tires and the damage screen. So our fastest lap is a 1 minute 28.0. Maybe here. I'm afraid I need maybe to go with half. 
Let's see if that's gonna do the trick. All set, we're ready to go, so let's get the car out onto the track. That might mess up the setup a little bit, but we need to check those temperatures. At this stage the rear left should be warm already. You see this too blue. It's getting green now. <laughs> the results maybe we can yeah both restart the time management with proper stars awesome this director he <laughs> used three sets of mediums hard corner cutting one time so I think then changing the temperature helped it and now I have five yeah keep all tires below a target temperature for an entire lap because the rear tires they have maximum pressure the temperature was um, above the target and it warms up 
quickly, quickly. But for the entire lap is not good because it might end up spinning in the end of the lap because the tire is too hot. So the target is good to keep it below the target so you can do the full lap without compromising it. So I think we found a good uh, balance here with the tires as well. Save this for now. Okay, the mom's there. When I start to do changes, my own setup. That's the only thing I'll change for now. Then we can do quite a fine things. Estimated first position. Best the other okay, speed. Okay, it's pretty quiet on track. We should consider getting out there now. Drive a clean sector. Stay within two minutes. The last one, there's, I don't think we're gonna get it. <laughs> and then we keep close to the race line unless we put the race line on. But as we are on the we can event, okay, I gotta change right that now, so take a few laps to get the tires up to temp and get yourself in the zone. Let's get into the zone. Okay, so we're top of the speed trap, 348.1 kilometers per hour. Nice. I don't think I even remember where is the racing line. I 
especially after the first turn or she came to the uh, first second turn then there is that going around there is a proper racing line to follow for the game I don't even remember which one is it Let this guy go again before we catch him up. That was close. That was close to retirement. <laughs> Big slip through the corners. Which I don't want to laugh. <laughs> Another set of tires. It's busy. The track is getting busy. Now the tire is definitely warm. Let's go.
program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that one, so come on back to the garage and I can take you through the numbers. Check 126. Not bad. Purple and green. Let's spec with sector one, sector two, sector three. Lap time 126. Estimated qualifying position. One pole position, yes. I used all my set of soft tires as you have a yellow one. So far, our fastest lap is a one twenty six point one. Complete, complete. This one is stay within two point. <laughs> I can try. I can try. Let me try with the yellow tires now. Don't think I can change that. Um. Also, the tire. Let's try something. Okay, so we're top of the speed trap, 348.1 kilometers per hour. Two, yeah. Let's see. And let's get... This on mediums. And try to get Just that. Complete. Everyone be aware, we've got a car leaving the garage. Try to get the racing line. So we need to be super careful so we don't crash because there is no reduce. We can event. If you mess it up, that's it. You're done. So let's try to drive as clean as possible. And check the racing line. I think we go here. Maybe open and then close it here. And then open again. Close it here. Don't remember exactly what is the reason I'm right there. Not pushing too much, just trying to keep on the racing line.
data we needed on that run. You might want to give it another go. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> we need to, we need to practice the race line on a time trial or something. Okay, so far our fastest lap is a yeah. 1 minute 26.1. Uh, let's just have fun then. Try to put a fast lap on the set of mediums. Standing by. Standing by. Can you need a bit better usage? Let those guys go before we can catch up too fast on them. Go, 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 go. Try to improve the tire balance.
More pressure on the front tires, maybe. <laughs> it's all mad now. And it's starting to change the behavior in the car as well. That's not the best way of doing that. So, 16, 16, 19, 22, yeah, here's all messed up. Three sets of softs and one medium used. We are position one. Yeah, that changes on the tire pressure it didn't help so much. I think better is just. Leave it on low, yeah, and as close as possible to the top with the top speed is absolutely on. vital here. There are so many long straights that we want to run as low a downforce setup as we can get away with. Nailing your braking points and getting out the traction zones properly is going to be key. Got it, an engineer. Mm -hmm. So that left rear, there's not much we can do about it, and um, it will always get more usage than the other ones. Um, even if we do because they are more or less equal, if we reduce, they give it even more. 
more then we get more than the target value which is dangerous we can spin to team it there This. And see how it goes. Is a lot of energy. The car setting screen on your multifunction display will allow you to change various settings as you drive. Open the display with the MFD button, and you can then navigate up and down the to the setting you want to change. back up. It's picking a lot. Qualifying. Yeah, that. Stay within two meters. I don't think we're gonna get it. Um, but how um, what tires we still have? I have only these two. Okay, let's just practice, refine, refine things so we can still want to qualify. Here, drive and we check the tire usage to see if it's gonna be an improvement. Another thing, let's get a few laps under our belt. Okay, guys, everyone be aware the car's ready to go. Differential instead of. 55 we can put speed pressure to 60 and see if we get a bit more traction Yeah, something on leaving the tire pressure completely off on the front that works better with this setup. If we starting to put some tire pressure on it, it doesn't work as well as if the tire pressures are low. Even to do this. I tried. Program 
So, 15, 14, 18, 18. Mm, yeah, it was already some differences there. Uh, 18, so the rears are similar, which is good. So that's what I wanted to see. So it's really helpful. <laughs> yeah. It's still on the 129255 on the soft say the best is still Our best lap so far is a 129.2 Yeah just get manage here and practice I think that I set up I'm gonna leave like that now seems to be good something flying around here we're currently sixth in the speed trap 346.6 kilometers per hour Getting to my limit as I was telling in the beginning. I've been sick for the past few days, so that okay, explains my lower voice and lack of performance in the track. <laughs> so today is more of a recovery practice. on the next stream Thursday it is going to be better oh, 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 oh. can I drive with one hand Oh yeah, I have changed the differential. What is a new set of uh, tires? I don't have a new set of tires. Hmm, let's see how they use it on these ones for me. So far so good. Two three, not bad. Yeah, I think we need that rotation to 55, especially for that to run. To get the car rotating while I'm on trouble.
There is no more gears. That was actually a nice uh, sequence. Managed to get well the apex. Try to get the under steam going. Yes, 127. That was a good, good luck. Let's go to 126 now. Push up the stairs. Now all of the place, all of the place, that's not gonna work. Just hitting the tires and whoa, 913. Yeah, that's not good. It's a very difficult compromise because if too much pressure on the rear, you can spin because the temperature is going to raise so much. <laughs> That's the mistake there. Sector one, sector two, like bloop, and then sector three was nailed. That managed made us to get so best lap so far is a one minute seven. Look at this. On 27, but for the second and the third, we need to improve the first sector. I think I can go down to 125. I think so. He's not gonna get that race line. <laughs> no way. And car set up. So, like this. Was working fine. Let's put two down and see. Let's save. This setup seems to be very refined, and anything you change a little bit, it can cause a big difference. It's strange. Okay, so we're top of the speed trap, 347.0 kilometers per hour. So, quite a fine. Uh, whatever tire. Just to having go, fun. Yeah, I think my team team today is not going to be possible. We're going to just be with the weekly event. Let me continue with my team another time. Why is the mark? There is no marks there. There is somewhere there. Apologies guys again for the whispering but... Hopefully next stream is gonna be better. Just try to get that curb nice cut. It really helps to do that turn. And here the apex there is very nice to think if you can get it. Super difficult as well. And here. Nice and early as well here. It was helpful. Yeah. 
the guy if I exist. Push too much in that turn. Nice to practice with the tires used, used like that. <laughs> you can see how much the grip is lost. Oh, look. Sliding. Okay, we haven't hit our program targets. Come in and take a look at the data, and if we have time, we'll rerun the program. Those. Now that the tires are getting older, maybe the time trial, tire pressure, you can see how it can be affecting a lot the behavior in the car. So we really might need to find that balance. Left. 
cool this is it guys thanks again for coming by for watching saying hello for all the followers and subscribe see you next time okay bye